Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a fabric ball ornament using my free ball sewing pattern. Please like this video and follow my channel for lots of fun sewing projects. This is the smaller size, it kind of like is, you know, fist sized, but you can make some great fabric ornaments. Um, you could do all one color or you can do alternating colors like these. You can add a bow or a bead to the top. There's a lot of great ways that you can personalize these own ornaments. So let's get started. For this project, you are going to need quilting cotton. You can use the same color for the whole ornament like I'm going to do with this red one, or you can use different colors, uh, different fabrics like I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to be switching between um, this like reindeer, like wood forest fabric and this plaid fabric. You can get the free um, fabric ball pattern um, on my blog. It's just this shape. You will also need some sort of string or ribbon um, at the top to hang the ornament. So you're going to need six pieces of fabric for your fabric ball ornament. So um, for this one, I'm just going to cut it all out of the same fabric. If you are doing um, an ornament that like will alternate, then you'll do three of one fabric and three of the other fabric. Now I'm going to pick, do three more from this fabric, but I'm actually, because this is such a large print, I'm going to actually like choose the part of the fabric that I want. So I'm placing this on the deer head. This doesn't um, save fabric. This kind of uses up a lot of fabric because I'm just choosing a spot in the middle, but then you can have some cute pictures. You know, you get to use the reindeer faces. So now I'm going to take my pattern piece and I'm just going to mark these dots on each piece. These dots, actually I'm going to mark it on the back. These dots are the place where you start and you stop when you are sewing so that you can get all the seams together. Now you are going to take three pieces. We're going to work with three pieces at a time. So you're going to pin your pieces right sides together. Start with one side. So I'm going to pin this. Then I'm going to open this and take this other side and pin it right sides to this one. So I'm essentially making half of the ball in with these two seams. And when I go through and sew this, so see how that's, it's going to be half. When I go through to sew this, I'm going to start at this dot, um, 3 8 inch from the edge, go down to this dot, and then I'm going to backstitch when I start and when I stop. So I'm doing it to this side and then I'm going to do it to this side. And I'm going to do the same to this piece, these pieces. When you are working with pieces that are directional, you have to make sure that you're getting, you know, the top of the piece with 
this top of the other pieces. So now you have one half and one half of your fabric ball. Now cut a piece of ribbon or twine or whatever you're using for the loop and cut it um, eight inches long. Fold it in half so that the short ends are meeting up and take one of your halves, open it up. You are going to place it This is going, the seam is going to come around like this. So you want this um, loop to hang right from the top. So I'm going to pin it right in here like this. You want the short ends to meet up with this raw edge and have the loop go down inside so that it doesn't get stuck in the seam anywhere. So once that's pinned in place, you take your other side and open it up and we are going to place it on top. And we're going to match up the tops and the bottoms. I like to have, um, since you have a bunch of seams meeting right here, I like to have these, this outer one here um, open. I just find it is easier to sew across. So I'm going to pin here. I'm going to match up the bottom. Then you come out to this side to pin and then do the other side. Now when we sew, we're just basically going to sew around in a circle, but you le need to leave a hole on one of these um, sides so that we can turn it right side out and um, stuff the ball. Once you've sewn around, take some scissors and we're going to trim. This is really bulky right here with all those seams meeting at the top and at the bottom. Now we're going to turn the ball right side out through the hole. Now we're going to take some stuffing and fill the balls. Now the last step is we are going to fold the seam allowance in and then you kind of have to pinch it. I can't really, I don't really um, use a pin or like a clip to close it because I find it hard to keep it closed. Like I just feel like they pop off easily. So I've already prepared my thread. It's a double thread on a needle and I'm going to use this to do a ladder stitch to close the ornament. Once you have stitched it up, you can add a bow, you can add a bead to the top, um, anything that you want to add you know, extra details and your ornament is finished. And that's how you make a fabric ball ornament. Please check out these playlists for some Christmas sewing projects and handmade sewing gift ideas. I can't wait to see all of the ornaments that you make. Please share them with me on social media and I hope you have a wonderful day.